This is One Broke Gamer Girl, and this is my review of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 5, Above and Beyond for the PlayStation 4. Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 has finally come to an end with the release of the fifth and final episode. I say that with a little trepidation, because last season I thought there were only going to be five episodes to find out they were adding three DLC episodes. Anyway, moving on from that, let's talk about Episode 5. How did things end for Jessie and her friends? Did this game get some sort of closure just in case it gets canned? Let's jump into the review and find out. Picking up right where episode 4 left off, you can watch my review of episode 4 by clicking on the link down in the description below. Jessie and her friends have made it back to Beacon Town that's being run by the admin who is disguised as Jessie. Gone is the peaceful Beacon Town and in its place a tribute to the founder, Jessie. There's even going to be a big celebration for the fake Jesse, but Jesse and her friends aren't having any of that as they come up with an Ocean's Eleven type plan to take down the admin once and for all. I have to say that while I was playing this episode, I was kind of on the fence about it. It felt just a little rushed and everything happened really quickly. By the end of the episode, though, I came around and really enjoyed it. This was because it mostly cleared up a lot of things that were left hanging in certain episodes. The rivalry between Stella and Jesse, which was all in Stella's head, was basically finished. The stuff that Petra was going through also came to a close. The fate of Beacon Town and the Admin also had a nice tidy ending, making the game end on a really high note. Having the ending that the game had was a real highlight to an episode that was a little on the boring side, even with all the action adventure that was thrown in. Kudos to Telltale. I usually don't give out a kudos lightly, but I have to this time around because they kind of won me over by the end of the episode with a Jesse and Petra moment. I won't spoil it here, but being a Jesse and Petra shipper, it was a nice little tame option given to you at the end of the episode and made me just a little giddy. The playability of this episode was a mess at some points. Sure, it didn't stall or take too long to load, but the action sequences were just off. This kind of messed up the game because when it came down to it, this episode was one big boss battle. Quick time events didn't seem as neatly calibrated as they were in the past, and the action sequences that weren't quick time events were just an absolute pain with the hearts and the stamina system. I spent a lot of time dying in these sequences for really stupid reasons. If there's another season, I really hope they fis fix this mechanism and just switch over to full on quick time events or improve the stamina system. The graphics for this episode were back on track like last episode as they fit into the whole Minecraft universe. Except for episode 3, the graphics have been spot on and are really a highlight of this game as a whole. I like how they really give you a Minecraft game but with a story so that you're not running around the woods punching trees. Finish this episode and you'll have not only 6 new trophies to brag about, but also a new platinum trophy to add to your list. Congratulations to those who played this game and got the platinum trophy for it. Unlike the other Telltale games, I don't really feel like this was a cheap platinum trophy because some of the episodes felt like a chore to play, so it wasn't all fun and games. As always, no multiplayer for this episode and just the crowd play feature. I was surprised that the crowd play feature wasn't crammed down my throat this time, as when I play recent Telltale games, I feel like I'm doing something wrong if I don't use the crowd play feature. Overall, I give this episode a 4 out of 5. Here's what's great about this episode. There was an Ocean's Eleven type story for this episode that planned out a major scheme to take down the admin and save Beacon Town. There was also a nice ending that tidied everything up in case there are no more seasons for this game. Also, the graphics that fit in nicely with the whole Minecraft universe. Here's what's not so great about this episode. Quick time events that weren't calibrated correctly in action sequences that used the broken stamina system. This made for a lot of non-fun times and a huge boss battle that could have been better. Also, this episode was another quick one that made the ending feel just a little rushed. Overall, this episode was probably the best of the season. It had a nice ending that if they don't continue with the game, you'll be satisfied with. It wrapped everything up nicely and even put a little bow on it, thanks Telltale. Anyway, if you haven't played this game yet, I would say wait until it was on sale and pick it up so that you can binge play it. This is one of the Telltale games that I feel in my honest opinion that it's really not worth the $24.99 price tag that goes with it. If you aren't a Telltale fan or a Minecraft fan, 
or maybe you just burnt out on Telltale Games, I would say to skip this one and wait for something better.